If you go to the resources page, you will see all your resources are categorized into 10 categories. Before we deep dive into each of these projects under each categories, let's look at all the 10 categories. In case you do not understand any of these categories, you can write your questions in the chat window and we would love to take them at a later point of time. To just run over all these categories again, uh, human resources deals with staffing, administration is more about managing the organization's admin staff. Leadership is to build the skills of the leaders in second line management. The finance deals with the accounting and budgets of the organization. Fundraising helps organization raise funds for their organization's programs. Marketing helps organization get publicity and establish their own brand. Monitoring and evaluation helps organization assess their impact. Programs mainly help organization design their programs, document them and help them expand and scale their programs. Strategy helps organization plan well for the next coming years for their organization. Governance help organization manage their board effectively. Now, if you click on any of these modules, you'll find a list of projects that are under this category. You can click on any of the projects that you feel that is an urgent or important project that the organization needs to take. Or you can refer to the next steps mentioned here, which are the suggested steps by the Life State Survey tool. If you click on any of the projects, you'll find four set of documents. The first kind is the blueprint. The blueprint is a step-by-step -step document which helps you find the exact process that you need to follow in order to build a certain system within the organization. The next one is the example. This helps you see the output of the pro process that you are doing. These examples are the real-life examples that Atma has been able to complete with its partner organization. The next thing that you would see would be tools. These tools help you build your checklist, assessments or any general sheet or documentation that you would need to start the process. The fourth and the final category is the readings. The readings helps these organizations filter out their Google search and understand some of the best practices to do a particular process and sometimes understand what that particular process could mean. If you face any difficulties on following the documents, you can enter your comments in the comment box below. We would also love to hear any feedback or suggestions that you have regarding the project in this comment section again.